now you brought that up. Ely, did you watch the game the other night? Tommy and I were watching the game. After that loss, when Magic Johnson came in and did all that tweeting and said that they weren't in there, um, we kind of, me and Tommy were talking, we kind of thought the net, the, the Lakers would come back maybe and win against Utah. You know, you would take over and everything. Uh, Westbrook didn't even really play. Yeah, it was good. So, uh, he, he's struggling. Uh, so I don't know if that was LeBron, like, entering in saying let's let's you know this experiment's not working let's put him to 25 minutes or so but the fourth quarter he was hardly hardly in there at all um that guy johnson just took over basically johnson, like took his spot i mean it was i don't know i mean stanley johnson he just had a a good game yeah, he had an out-of-body game it's not going to have that every day but yeah. i'm just saying westbrook wasn't even involved in like the the mix of 35 minutes he wasn't even close yeah, no, I mean, he pretty much sat the end of the third in good chunk. He played, like, what, last three minutes of the game, I believe it was, after his first rotation in the third. So, it, uh, I, I don't think that'll be what we see going forward. But, you know, in that game, that's that's how it shook out. But he's been struggling for sure. Yeah, it was uh, it was a smart move by them. to They finally sat him for most of the fourth quarter. That was one of the smart moves when it was crunch time. Uh, they kept him off the court. The announcers even made a comment like, ah, ah, Russell Westbrook isn't back. And it's like, well, you know, when fucking Magic Johnson and everyone starts telling you you need to win, maybe now you'll do the fucking thing that I said to do before the season started. Keep them off the fucking court in important spots and just move them in when LeBron's not on the court and tell them to fucking stop shooting. And it seemed like anytime he did something good, Healy, like the dunk or, you know, he had a big play at the end of the game on like a layup or something. LeBron was like over congratulating him, you know, like hugging him and picking him up and stuff. And I told Bill, it looks like LeBron had a talk with him before the game. Like, mm -hmm. yo, this is what's coming down from the top. You, we need you to shoot a little less in these spots, bro. I mm -hmm. love you. Not my call. So then anytime he got a layup, LeBron was like, you're the man, you're the man, you know, to bring him back up after knocking him down. That's exactly what it looked like. I didn't think LeBron had, I didn't think LeBron thought that would think that AD would be out this long of a time. You know, maybe miss like a couple weeks here and there, but he's missed a pretty big chunk of the season, and LeBron hasn't been able to rest. And uh, you know, he's LeBron's pissed. not happy. <laughs> pissed. He's fucking pissed off. The only reason he brought Westbrook was so he could sit out a couple months, like you said. Mm. And he can't right now because of their fucking spot in the standings. So, uh, so that's pretty much it for the hot topics. Unless anyone has anything else they wanted to cover, or any other news and notes going around in the uh, the association. 